Hey, what's up guys? Tugi here, back again. Quick video today. Might not be the only video today because this is big news. Later on today, perhaps even by the time this video is out, the first big patch for NHL 21 is going to have come out. Now, here's the thing, right? I could do the full breakdown. It is what it is. You can read it on your own time. When it comes to gameplay updates, me personally, quite well known where NHL 21 is in terms of the gameplay as a whole it's not quite how I'd prefer a hockey game to be I can just accept that treat it as it is what it is I just don't play it as much of you know a hockey video game a modern hockey video game as I'd like to because of it and you know a patch isn't going to change that it's the fundamental base of the game that I disagree with essentially so with these changes how effective are they going to be we'll see uh, when it comes to this training camp improvement whatever the presentation sure uh, the, you know the freaking ESHL stuff sure you know hey I'm not saying these are bad changes or unnecessary changes I'm sure they're necessary we get to franchise mode now elephant in the room I, again, really haven't done anything for NHL 21 in terms of franchise mode because franchise mode has been, in my opinion, unplayable. And it has been for the majority of these reasons. Uh, defenders not showing proper line chemistry, they fixed that. You know, where it would show defenders with the four forward lines in terms of their chemistry. Auto scouting was essentially broken, which sucks. I mean, again, you know, the manual scouting had its own issues at times, too. The biggest issue uh, being that for someone like me who does series where it's like, okay, we got to make progress relatively quickly, I can't afford to go in and do that extra time to scout. I rely on auto scouting a lot, so yeah, couldn't really do it. Uh, you know, fix the goalie filter, fix this issue as well. The big thing, the big thing that's not mentioned here that has me incredibly scared for this patch and for this channel <sighs> trade values trade values now uh we will go back over here shout out to clappy uh, you know that's where the link was there is <sighs> there's an interesting dilemma going on with trade values great example here from my good buddy tactics that is that is Sam Gagne. That is his trade value. <clears throat> if trade values haven't been addressed, none of this matters. Because these issues didn't break the mode as much as this does. Sam Gagne being worth that much is game breaking it absolutely is I mean you could say like oh well in this reality he had a career resurgence no it's game breaking at that stage and I guess you could make the argument of like oh career resurgence if it it wasn't a bit more consistent if John Gibson wasn't getting traded for fourth round picks I saw that as well if trade values are broken the mode is still broken and there's no mention of trade values here so i'm going to use the word and i've said this on twitter i've said this on stream that i always use when it comes to patches like this cautious optimism i hope that by this time tomorrow uh, when i'm recording this which is relatively uh, or this time today uh, relatively early in the morning on thursday i hope that by the time the patch is out that I have no complaints to make. That I can start streaming franchise mode on Twitch and having fun with that. That I can start making YouTube stuff. Uh, you know, that I can start doing more stuff for uh, my lovely patrons on Patreon. And for that, I love you guys. For those of you that stuck with me, despite the fact that I can't do anything. <sighs> we'll see what happens. The other big thing, of course, is that, hey, you can actually edit defensemen now which is nice. I've been having to roster edit without being able to adjust the overalls for defensemen, 
So that sucked. <laughs> we'll see what happens. The good thing out of this patch is that, you know, all the uniform changes, stuff like that, the Sens changing their logo, that's all going to be done through the patch, not through a roster update like it's normally done, unless something changed, but that's what I was told. Uh, so if you start a roster or anything like I have, you're not going to be missing out on these jerseys. They're going uh, to be in the game, including the Maine Mariners. Lovely, lovely alternate jersey, which if I was home right now recording this, not on my girlfriends, uh, I would totally be wearing. But I didn't bring it with me. So, again, hope, pray, uh, and again, uh, he had 32 points, so you can't really call it a career resurgence. Uh, 73 the year before in the AHL but yeah the hope is that that's fixed because if it isn't you're still not gonna see much NHL franchise mode content on this channel you're just not maybe we do take that military mode idea and just run with it and just see like hey how much can the mode break itself which isn't nearly as in fun uh, as fun or engaging for me but I'm going to have some limited options if this issue hasn't been addressed.